hi guys so we'll come back here again in this video i will show you on how we want to create a 3d component into a drafting so i will use the previous part that you already done in your part design exercise so as you can see in my screen here so you already generate the part okay from this drawing into your cat part eh, such as like this alright so kindly use this part in order for us to generate our first drafting okay so first of all you need to go to style uh, mechanical design so we choose a drafting eh? sorry my bad okay so this is a new creation right so we choose a standard one okay for my a3 iso okay paper size so let's say if you want to modify you can click to modify okay there is uh, several standard here as you can see asme nc and gis japanese industrial standard here iso but uh, basically we use a iso standard here okay and then the sheet style you can choose the biggest one is a AO size okay uh, smaller from AO A1 and so on and so on okay usually I use a A3 but then this one we can modify later on let's say uh, your draft or sorry your part is a little bit bigger which is uh, require a A2 size so later on you can change into a drafting section uh, using a properties and then you choose a A2 size okay to make it uh, properly suit into your part design or your drawing okay let's say we choose a A3 size okay click OK and then this one we click OK and then you in the drawing Katia environment as you can see here Okay, this is dimensioning, geometry mode, okay, geometry creation, dress up. Okay, so first I will show you on how we want to import uh, our cat part into this drawing, into this drafting. Okay, so first of all, you choose uh, projection. Okay, this is projection. So basically it's a from here so i drag out it become a projection so we choose a front view eh? so the front view we click from view and then we go to our windows and then we choose the cat part that we want to generate into a drafting okay let's say in this case it's a piston shaft so i click the piston shaft okay so for the front view we must know that uh, there is uh, the most dimension that we able to create so in this case I choose this plane eh? okay I choose this plane you can either choose the plane here okay no problem for you so in this case I choose a uh, XY plane okay from here you can see the oriented uh preview okay at the bottom right that is katia showing okay so i choose xy plane eh? okay so from here you can use this compass to rotate your part but in my case it already into my uh, desired position so i don't need to rotate any any, any anything Okay. so I click here again to generate the drafting okay as you can see this already highlighted in the red color rectangle which mean uh, we are walking into this uh, view okay so let's say I want to move this one okay you just drag Okay, you click the rectangle, red, red rectangle here, and then you just drag. Okay. So we want to generate the. Oh, sorry. So previously I mentioned about the first view, and then the third view projection. So in this case, where we want to check this one, okay, you can check 
into this one under the sheet here you right click okay you go to the properties okay and then you scroll down and then you can see here the projection method okay so usually uh, I'm very familiar with the triangle standard so I choose this one so I apply okay so this one I want try to generate the projection view okay so this one is front view okay this one is a should be a top view okay the next one I want to generate is on the right side view okay you see the Katia already generate the title or the name for you top view okay right view okay let's say you want to add on your isometric view you click the isometric view okay let me put this side first okay you see here I want to add the isometric view okay you go to your part again the piston shaft Okay, you can rotate into the best view which is cover all the all the parts okay this one is not good uh, isometric view okay so the best one we should put like this okay which is cover all that people can understand when they saw this isometric view eh? so isometric view is a not compulsory but it's an additional view in order for us to understand better about our product or our part so I click here so you see this one is uh, a quite big eh? so you can scale down into a 1 to 2 or 1 to 4 Okay, in this case, so I right click this one, I right click here, so properties, okay, go to into the view, and then into the scale, you can change into 1 to 2, eh? okay, apply, okay, and then you try to put into your sheet here, eh? so this one is your sheet, right, so let's say you move down here a little bit, okay, that's good okay this one is a good all right so let's say you want to walking into this uh, view okay you need to double click okay in order for us to working properly into this view eh? all right so that's all for the uh, projection okay later on in the next video i will show you about the uh, how we create uh, dimensioning eh, into our uh, drafting or into our drawing or from view top view and right view okay see you guys bye bye